Uh, give us as far as your next fight. I know you say you will be announcing something soon. Any yeah. time frame possibly. Um, they're looking at early May um, against another world champion at 54. Um, I believe maybe Marie Eve DeCare. I'm really not sure yet though. I'm waiting to see what they figure out. You were supposed to be fighting Napoleon though? Is that yeah, Was that she, the original plan? Yeah, she messed the bag up. She messed the bag up? Yeah, she messed the bag up. Bro. <laughs> like, I, I can't even say I'm... It's just that people need to... Just call it for what it is. She's a good fighter, but she's not a great fighter. And the, and the fact that me and her was going to fight, it was supposed to be at the MGM Grand. I mean, no, not at the MGM. Where is that place at? Madison Square Garden mm -hmm. in New York. Right. You know, like the big break. And all of a sudden, she, you know, messed it up. But hopefully, she get her titles back. We can still make it happen, probably. But I'm not even focused on that now. I'm just going to stay at 154 and fight against the other girls who are there. I remember the last time I was asking you about that and I said, I want to see you in New York or Vegas. And you was like, well, we might be doing something in New York. So I guess mm. that's, maybe that's what it might have been, but. I don't know where to fight with Marie Eve DeCare may be at either. Like, we always uh -huh. have an option to come here to Vegas. They always like, oh, we may be ready for Vegas, we may be ready. So I just kind of let them do they, you know, logistics and all that stuff. And they let me know when they, when my team feel like I'm ready to come here to Vegas to fight. I don't really like tell them what mm -hmm. to do. I let them do their, my thing is to train and win, and they do that other stuff to let us know, like, hey, we have, we reached this many fans, and this how many people will come right. to the fight. I let them do that. So, if they feel like I'm not there yet. I just kind of accept it and just keep moving. Give me your thoughts on your uh, your sister, Frashawn Cruz Azern, and that situation with uh, Alejandra Jimenez. Jimenez is uh, a fucking drug sheet, and it's disgusting. That's how I feel about that. And I feel like um, it was clear. It was clear. I mean, I don't know how didn't you know that. Um, looking at her, her voice is deep. And I don't know, look, I don't really care about nobody gay, straight. I don't care about that. It's not even, this is about noticing, knowing what, knowing the signs of, of, of a woman doing right. PDs. Right. That's what it is. And her voice was deep. She lost, I don't know how much weight to get down to the 168 weight class. She literally didn't even show up for the first time her and French John was supposed to fight. Didn't even show up. Talking about she had visa problems. She's cycling on and off. Ugh. Like, it's not rocket science, but, you know, to see that, you know, she got all this praise and all this bull crap. She's a drug cheat. And I think that six months of, uh, of a suspension for putting somebody's life in danger is bullshit. You know, I think, I think it's crap. And I think that uh, French John needs to be compensated financially. Right. Needs to be com uh, freaking compensated. Um, giving her belts back. I mean, there's a lot that she needs to be compensated on for Alejandro Jimenez testing positive and her B sample just came back and that was positive too. It, that, that's just disgusting. You know, French could have lost her life. Forget right. her hair coming off and stuff. She could have lost her life to that girl. You never know. She could have had a concussion or anything right. fighting against. She. I talked to French after that fight. I inboxed her because me and her like this. I don't matter how many times me and her have fought, that's my dog. Right. I inboxed her. She said, Chris, I swear to God, that girl stronger. She's stronger than some men out of box. She's walking and, through everything. And I was surprised to hear French John say that because if you see me and French John fight, I feel like she's strong as hell. Mm -hmm. So it was like she telling me that Alejandra's stronger than me and her. Like, what? How? I mean, I ain't saying I'm the strongest, but Alejandra ain't stronger than me. That's what I'm mm -hmm. thinking. She like, nah, look, you strong. But she said Alejandra was a different strong. She was stronger than some of the men that are boxing against in the gym. Because me and French John both spar men to get ready for our fights. Mm -hmm. So when she told me that, I said, yeah, definitely, because you're not even a woman who even came up boxing, so you don't know how to punch correctly. You're not a really a good fighter. You're just big. So it was like, just because you're big don't mean that you one of those fighters who come forward and you're just strong. It don't right. mean that. So, Franchon knew that she could be her. I thought Franchon wanted to fight anyway, yeah, but to I, see that she got cheated, not only with the scorecards, but also with the with the drug stuff, right. it's just disgusting on Alejandra Jimenez's part. Ain't it crazy that she has to quote unquote fight for her belts back? And also, that? well, you know, she, she don't have her belts now, right? She don't have them back, right? I think they're supposed to be reinstated now. I don't know what they're going to do, but that's what they should do. I mean, they already got the test results, right? Yeah. So what they waiting on? That's my only thing. Because I feel like you mentally, you might, you, there's still ramifications for that mentally, right? The fact that you've been through an experience. Whether they reverse it and all that stuff, she went through that experience. Yeah, you know she's traumatized. Saying? For sure, right. she's traumatized. And she wrote that. That's that's what I'm talking about. No, she definitely traumatized just for me talking to her. Like, when you go to something like that, you never be the same. But I hope that I I know that franchise gonna bounce back because she right. just she's from Baltimore. She's strong. Right. We done 
both went and tried to go for both Olympics together. And even though it was me that came out on top, I always seen her bounce back yeah. and you know get and uh, get her power back. So I feel like the situation she'll, she'll get her power back. It's gonna take her some time. Nice. I fight again May 9th at 154 for some more world titles, and I'm a, and I'm gonna keep representing Folks, you know, black power. Black you here, you know black that. We need to move on. Appreciate you, champ. No problem. I got a fan. Okay, I got it. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> you about to laugh. <laughs> What you laughing about? You done did it plenty shout of times. Out, shout out to Champ Side, the best brand in the land. Baddest. <laughs> oh, the baddest gotta brand? Go over. Is that the one? The baddest brand in the land. All right, come on. Go ahead. Yeah. Shout out to Champ Side, the baddest brand in the land.